Now the last page and it starts from question number D. The student measured the EMF of the battery twice. The student's values were 9.6 volt and 9.2 volt. Determine the average EMF E of the battery include the absolute alternating E. So the average value of E will be equal to E equal to E1 plus E2 9.6 plus 9.2 divided by number of observations it is 2 so it should be equal to uh, 9.4 volt and uncertainty will be equal to so delta E should be equal to uh, 9.6 uh, minus 9.2 divided by 2 so that should be equal to 0 0.4 by 2 it is 0 0.2 0 0.2 so 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 the value uh, should be written like 9.4 plus minus 0 0.2 now uh, in E1, using your answers to A, C3, and D. So A means this. A means this, which is, uh, let me write it here. Uh, M is equal to K by E. K by E. Then uh, we have to take reference of C3. So C3 means uh, the values of the gradient, which we obtained, which we obtained here, here, C3. And what we just did, which is uh, D, D. Determine the value for k. So the formula is here. So we should have k should be equal to gradient into E equal to the gradient is equal to equal to we have to use the best value here. So it's equal to 1.925. So it is 1.925 into the value of EMF is 9.4. 9.4. So this value uh, will now be uh, equal to when I do the things uh, like this and we have to uh, include the unit also unit so first let's find the quantity so this will be uh, 1.925 into 9.4 will be equal to equal to 18.095 5 and the unit should be equal to should be equal to the unit of E is uh, volt volt and the unit of slope is equal to so let me go for the graph page here slope is equal to so unit of this, unit of uh, unit of this thing, this thing by unit of this. So it should be equal to uh, this is per ampere, this is a per degree. So it should be equal to volt. Uh, it is one by ampere and degree. So it's equal to I can write it as uh, volt by ampere can be written as ohm uh, into into degree. So it's equal to ohm by it is a degree. So the unit should be equal to, I'll write it as ohm uh, per degree, per degree, because I cannot use uh, power minus one in degree, per degree. And this value will be equal to, since we are, don't have got uh, uncertainties or errors, so it's simply write in 3SF, it is 18.1. So 18.1 uh, ohm per degree. Next question is, determine the percent uncertainty in K. So I have to find the percentage as in k so it should be equal to delta k by k into 100 percentage should be equal to equal to delta m by m plus delta e by e into 100 percentage so it's equal to so delta m should be equal to should be equal let me go through the previous page here so delta m is not this value this value whole value 0 0.1393 so it is 0 0.1393 by the full value of m is 1.925 1.925 plus delta e is delta e and this is e so it is 0 0.2 by 9.4 and then into 100 percentage so when you do the calculations here uh, so let me do the calculations so it will be equal to uh, 0 0.1393 divided 1.925 plus bracket 0 0.2 divided 9.4 bracket equal to into 100 percentage so it should be equal to equal to 9.36 36 uh, 9, 36 4 percentage so i need to write this answer uh, in a maximum 2sf so it should be equal to 9.4 percentage so it is 9.4 percent not much now uh, the last question f determine the angle theta through which the spindle of the variable resistor is rotated so that the current is 10 milliampere so we have to find the angle 
angle when the current is 10 mA include the absolute uncertainty in your answer as well so our formula is equal to the formula was 1 by i is equal to equal to uh, equal to equal to, equal to uh, i is equal to uh, so let me go through the first page i forgot the formula i is equal to uh, k by e theta so it's equal to m into theta m is the slope so therefore we need to find the theta so theta is equal to is equal to 1 by m i so slope into i so equal to 1 by the value of a slope is m is 1.925 so 1.925 into current is 10 milliampere so it's equal to 0 0.01 so 10 into 0 10 into 10 power minus 3 is equal to 0 0.01 so this is equal to so 1.925 into 0 0.01 equal to uh, reciprocal equal to so it is 51.948 degrees so the value of the angle is 51.948 degrees the answer will be give, given by so so when we apply the formula over here so delta theta by theta is equal to delta m by m plus delta i by i since there is no uncertainty given here so this should be zero so therefore delta theta is equal to delta m by m into theta so equal to delta m by m is this so it is a 0 0.1393 by 1.925 into theta is 51.948 so equal to so 0 0.1393 divided 1.925 into 51.948 so equal to it becomes it becomes 3.759 degrees now when i write it in 2sf so it should be equal to 3.8 though it is 5 here it is 9 here so it becomes 6 and then it becomes uh, it uh, climbs to 8 3.8 so plus minus 3.8 now regarding this thing so let me rewrite it here so this is 3.8 this is 51.948 so i have to write only up to here i can write only up to here because the error starts from this digit which is the first digit before decimal so i have to round it off all here all here so it should be 52 degrees so 52 plus minus 3.8 now again the same thing if somebody is adamant on using uh, only one SF in the uncertainty it should be 4 52 plus minus 4 here it should be 10 it should be 10 1 SF 0 is not SF only 1 is SF so I have done it in 2 SF and uh, uh, if you have you uh, are bent on doing one so I have given the idea also so that uh, gives a complete roundup of uh, this number of this question which is 19 May June paper 5 1 number 2